Let's go, Phil. Oh, God. It's a bit rainy there. This is the Lamborghini Huracan Evo Spider. It's got a 5.2 litre V10 engine, 640 horsepower, an exhaust note to wake the dead. And when you drop the top, looks to die for. It's pricey, 228,000 pounds. But trust me when I tell you, there is no better convertible. Sadly, not everybody agrees. Bentley. All right, Grandma. <coughs> All right, Mr. Midlife Crisis. I will have you know that if you are looking for the best convertible, you cannot go wrong with the Continental GT. Yeah, you've, you've already gone wrong though, because this is the Lamborghini Huracan Evo Spider. No, 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 no. This is class, luxury, refinement, six litre W12, mm -hmm. four layer fabric sunroof. Right. That, my friend, is a big toy for a little boy. Oh, speaking of which, have you seen Kirsten? Uh -huh. He didn't get the email. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm here. Uh. Alex, 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 Alex. Alex Squared, nice to meet you. Did you uh, not get the memo? This is meant to be about the best convertible. Ah, I see. Well, give me 20 minutes with an angle grinder. I can sort that out. We can have a convertible <laughs> X5. But alas, the reason I'm here, Alex, uh -huh. is because I've brought Phil on my trusty trailer. Ultimate convertible right there. Does that thing go everywhere with you? Oh, yeah. It's actually welded to the X5. <laughs> I see that you've bought um, a boring Bentley and a Lambo that only people can finance. Very good. Well done. Yeah, but this was still about the best convertible. Yeah, Which you, is yeah, why. You've brought, you've brought that. Yeah. Which is why I've brought Phil. Three litre V6, all right, good power, good mm. power to weight, rear wheel drive, manual gearbox, engaging drive. Why, is, why is it on a trailer? MPG. Has it broken down? MPG. It's going to break down, isn't MPG. it? MPG. It has broken down. It has. Is that clutch I can smell? <laughs> yes. I don't understand why you've put that car on a trailer for better economy, but you're making it worse for the X5. There's a, a slight disconnect in your brain somewhere. I'm scared it'll break down. That's OK, now we're getting to the crux of the matter. <laughs> However, when Phil works, Phil is the most entertaining sports car slash convertible money can buy. Do you know what else I've noticed? He's got an MX-5, yeah. he's got an X-5. Yeah. All your cars have like an X or a 5 in them. It's good, what, isn't it? What's your next car, like a Sinclair C5? That probably be an upgrade. <laughs> Very good. Quite facetious, but I'll take that. <laughs> but no, it is not a Sinclair C5 because I've got the ultimate track weapon convertible fun car here. Mm. So I'm here to prove that smaller is better. That's never the case. No one's ever said that to you, Alex. Before things got personal, I decided the only way to discover whose car was actually the best was to head out on track for a series of challenges, beginning with a drag race. One on one, winner stays on. First up, Alex versus Alex. All right, boy and girl, are we ready to get it on? I'm ready. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm also very confident, but um, uh, could I have a little head start? What do you want? Say uh, two car lengths? I'm thinking more like, like three. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. You haven't given me a chance to say whether I agree. Uh, you do have like literally two of his engines. W12, six litre, V6, three litre. You've got to give him a chance. OK, a little chance. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that looks about How right. How many car lengths is that? That's about, that's 10 Bentleys. Yeah, let's just round three up to 10. All right, I'm going to allow it. I, I just want to see what happens. Not really. All right. OK, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Go! Go, Phil, on, go, Phil, go! <laughs> no! No! Oh no, that is 
utterly, utterly disappointing. That is how you do it. That is absolutely disgraceful from the Mazda. Who won? I saw uh, your brakes go on first. Who won? I nailed him. <laughs> Did I say 10 car legs? I meant 20. <laughs> oh dear, that's embarrassing. That was incredible. Um, congratulations, Alex. Uh, Al, do you want to just uh, leave? Let, uh, let a real car take over. I think I lost. I'm going to leave with a bit of German flair. With the little boy and his toy out the way, it was time for my ballistic Bentley to go up against a more serious challenge. Rory and his 640 horsepower all-wheel drive Lamborghini. OK, Rory and Alex, we have proven that the big old Bentley is faster than Phil. Rory, you are the new contender. How are you feeling? I'm not as confident as I thought I'd be because that Bentley is an absolute missile. Yeah, I think we have established that it is a proper weapon. OK, well, both of you have got stupidly big engines, launch control and all-wheel drive, so this is going to be very interesting. Uh, Alex, you said earlier that you wanted a little bit of a head start, so I'm not going to give you that. Are we ready to go straight into it? Well, I was so generous. I know, but life is sometimes cruel. Are we ready? Yes, I am ready. Bring it. Three, two, one, go! Hang on a minute. Sorry, we can't show you this drag race because technically we're not allowed to. One of the manufacturers didn't want their car going up against the other unless they supplied their own driver, so we can't show you the result. But if we did do a drag race, which we didn't, then hypothetically, the Bentley might get off the line slightly quicker because hurricanes sometimes bog down on launch control. But then, and these pictures are an artist's impression, the superior power to weight ratio of the Lambo means it would close the gap, stretch its legs and probably win. Maybe. We definitely don't know for sure because we definitely didn't do this race that we're not allowed to show you. Which leads us to our next challenge, a round of top trumps to see which car scores the most points in the areas chosen by their driver. Okay, top trumps. Uh, since you lost everything so far, Kirsten, why don't you start? Right, so we all know that a good thoroughbred sports or supercar needs to have one thing, or two things in this case, pop-up headlights. What? So I, what? <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> this is, you know, it's iconic. I get 10 out of 10. Yours, how are your pop-up headlights? Well, why oh. do I need them? Oh. Aren't oh. they banned completely? Yeah. They're illegal. I so know. Clearly cars don't need them anymore. That's because cars like this are dangerous and edgy, just like me. Right. These, you know, safe, boring, big, lardy, overrated. Pop-up headlights. Are you serious? I'm very serious. <laughs> oh, OK. I, I'm going to go for engaging drive. Manual gearbox, three pedals. How are your manual gearboxes? I've only got two pedals. Oh. Yeah. OK. Can we agree? Three, three pedals better than two? I think for the sake of the community, who are probably going to lash out at us if we don't agree on this, yeah. <laughs> I'll say the three pedal situation wins. Go on, have that as well. You were yeah, very, yeah. very close to an unsubscribe from <laughs> tens of thousands of people. <laughs> Everyone knows that a car is faster with racing stripes. I would actually take points away because you've got these crappy racing stripes and the whole thing is covered in stickers. You've got Tillet Racing, you've got Shut Up, I f***ing got this. You can't swear on Auto Trader. <laughs> We're going to have to bleep that. And what, what does that say? Phil, Phil Phillist. Like illist, but Phillist. Have you paid for anything on this car or is it all from sponsors? It's all paid for. 10 out of 10 for me, zero and zero. As, uh, a, as a pity vote, I will allow it. Sports car, supercar, lots of carbon fibre, OK? I see a little, little bit on yeah, there. Yeah, we've got some here. L do oh, I optionally see? available. OK. Also optionally available, also on the car right now. Uh, carbon fibre intake plenum, carbon fibre bucket seats, carbon fibre rear ducktail spoiler, and also the rear panel is also carbon fibre. I can't see fiber. any of your carbon fibre because I'm too busy looking at the fact that your lacquer is coming off and it looks like... <laughs> Is that for lightweight? Looks yeah, like you're that is, that is, that is weight reduction. I'm also going to go for popularity. As of 2016, Ooh. thank you, as of 2016, a million of these made, OK? People love MX-5s, they're so popular, they're good in the tuning scene as well. But the general population, I would say, would go for the Lambo. Sorry, Bentley, I'm so sorry. OK, potentially. I'm going to have to give it as well, I think. <laughs> 
Do you know why? No, because it is the best-selling sports car. Can't, you, you can't, can't argue with facts. because people can't afford the Lambo. Which is why this is even more perfect, because oh everyone God. can afford this. Um, oh, driftability. Light at the rear end, just like me. What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Easy to drift. We're not getting into that. Are you telling me you can't drift a Lambo? Or a Bentley? Give me the keys. I'll try, but probably <laughs> not a chance, mate. OK. I mean, can you drift that? Of course I can drift it. OK, I'd like to see that. No, I, no, no. This is your round. Prove it. OK, fine. Watch this. Hold my beer. Oh, God. And finally, and I think I might struggle on this, okay. power to weight on this is very good at uh, 252 horsepower Ooh. per ton. So, oh, shall I'm we move close. on? Shall What's we move on? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you don't get that yet. What's yours? About 280, I think. Oh, interesting. Because mine, ladies and gentlemen, happens to be 460 <laughs> horsepower per ton. Unlucky Phil. All right. I nearly right. scraped off another yeah, bit of lacquer there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll go then. So power to weight, obviously, I take yeah. that. Let's go 0 to 60, 62 uh, to be precise. 3.1 seconds. Oh. I've already destroyed you, so I don't even need Hold to Hold on, you numbers. haven't heard what we've got to say yet. Well, uh, I've already well, beaten come you. Come on then. <laughs> it's around 4.9. Oh, okay. Which is still quite spicy for a little car. Bentley's quite close. Officially 3.8. you're driving, but me. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I win that as well, 0 to 60. A quarter mile. 10.1 uh, seconds. That's quite good. Have some of that. Wow. Nowhere near, right? No, I'm probably going to be about 13 seconds. I'm, I don't even know what that is because it's 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 heavy. And yeah. no one cares. All Who, right. Yeah, exactly. Who's going to do a quarter mile in a Bentley? Exactly. Like a drop top Bentley. Yeah. Don't worry, Bentley. We'll come to you in a second. Um, I'm going to go top speed, 202 miles an hour. What's yours, Alex? 220. Kilometers. That's kilometers. Kilometers per hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. Bigger number. <laughs> 208. 208. Oh, how? I can't believe the Lambo's not as quick as the Bentley. Yeah. Downforce. Not as fast. I should have gone for downforce. Oh. oh. It's, I'm on it now. It's my turn. Power. Oh. 640. 252. 659. Oh. Okay. It's quite a big number, actually. Right. Talk. Uh, I'm probably in the, in the 200s. 600 uh, newton meters? 900. 900? Yes! Cup holders. None. None whatsoever. None? No. Not Two. a single. Four. You have no cup holders. Don't need cup holders. Luxury. Definitely not this. Comfort. And definitely no, not luxury. that. Yeah, fair play. Massage. And Go you've on. got a heated steering wheel, don't heated you? Heated steering wheel, heated everything. Boot space. 120 litres. 70. 358. Oh, I okay. can't argue with that. Can yeah, you win that. You can put everything that. in the boot while you're driving much faster. All right, OK. Engine displacement. 5.2. V10. Oh. Mm. Three litre. V6. Six litre. W12. Which means that your engine is twice the size <laughs> of mine. It's literally like taking two of my engines <laughs> and putting it under your bonnet. Isofix. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't have any Isofix. It's a, it's a supercar. I've got Isofix. I don't know who he is, but uh, <laughs> no, I'm going to say it's no. It's tragic times, but I have to think about these things. Okay, I hope I never do. Technology. I mean, the V10 is a uh, is the height of engine technology, so I go for that. Oh, you mean like gadgets and stuff? Mm -hmm. um, Apple CarPlay. What have you got? I've got an Android. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I mean, it's basic. I have heater controls. And wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right? It's, clo it's close, but I'm guessing the Bentley's a step ahead of that. Yeah, just a tad. Rotating screen, has night vision. The sound system alone cost around 6K. And talking of price, check out my brakes. They're about 12k. Carbon ceramics. 12 grand yeah. for your brakes. Yeah. How much is your how much did your car cost? 1150 quid. <laughs> for 12 grand, you could effectively build the same car. So how much is the Lambo? 228,000. So I win that as well. What's yours? 234. But does that mean you win or does that mean you lose? Because you've got the most boring car and you spent the most amount of money. No, in Top Trump's rules, she wins. 
a hollow victory, but I think you can have that. Thank you. I'm still in the lead, though. I'm happy. How are you? Ha Oh, okay. I've beaten you twice. Yeah. Where well, it matters. You, yeah, Performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah you think cup so. holder nonsense. But <laughs> do you have pop-up headlights? Oh, shut up. Right, <laughs> next challenge. <laughs> oh, oh, it was. I Did you know was... that it winked? No, that's the first time it's ever done it. Was that it. an accident? Went round the wrong side. Oh, that's <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Once he'd figured out how to actually get into his Lamborghini, Rory decided we should head back to the track for our final challenge. Right, I've got an idea. We've tested a load of stuff with these cars, but we haven't yet tested the main reason they exist, the roofs. How about we do a race, two laps, but we start with the roofs up and finish with the roofs down. I like it. I have a question though. Go on. Can I start and then put my roof down at 90 miles an hour on the back straight? Can you? I, I can. Should it will you? End, it will end survive? really badly. <laughs> it will end really badly for everyone. <laughs> when I your like roof flies off and smacks into my Lamborghini. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Lambo. It happened again. <laughs> so maybe I'll just I'll just stay static. Yeah. Right. Let's not do that. Okay. So can I move whilst putting it down? Yeah, I reckon uh, you can drive up to 30 miles an hour with about your roof. That. How long does it take to go down? About 19, I think. So Mine it's... takes about 17 seconds. So I'm going to stay stationary, use launch control, and I think I can catch you by the time we get to the first chicane. Catch you by the third corner. Crash into me there. Crash into right. you yeah. possibly, but romp home to victory. OK, well, um, my roof takes as long as I take to put my roof down. How, how long is that? It could be three seconds. It could be three minutes. <laughs> At my age, anything is possible. Let's see what happens. Let's go. Bring it. Oh, Jesus. Go, 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 go. Come on, Roof. Alex is struggling. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, come on, Roof. Seatbelt on. In we go. Come on. Let's go, Phil. The roof is nearly there. Go. Go. Come on, baby. Come on. Bye bye. Oh, God, bro. It's a bit, bit wet. Damn you, Alex. Right, come on, Bentley. God, he's so quick in the corners. Oh, he's got Alex already. Here we go. Oh, she is all over me. Whoa, come on, Phil. We just got to hold her up a little bit. You can't have that, Al. Chase him. I'm on your backside, though. Come on, we've got power. Come on. Come on, Bentley. Oh, here we go. I think this is where I might make up a little bit of time. Oh, but she is right on my tail. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, he's running wide. Come on, Bentley. Yes, 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 yes. Got him. <laughs> right, OK, second place. I will take second place. Oh, she's pulling away. I'm going to try and nail Kirsten early. Oh, he's quick through these bends. Oh no! Rory! Rory's coming up! The inevitable is coming! Down the back straight! Laser! Yes! No! No! Oh. Alright, now the Bentley. I've got half a lap! I can hear him! I think I can keep on their tail! Come on, Phil! Do it for the little guy! Go on, Lambo! Oh man, I might have this! I might have this! I got this! Come on! Damn you! Stay back, Rory! I got this! I got this! Yes! Come on! Did I get it? Who won it? I definitely got it, surely! Come on! Oh, that was amazing! That was amazing. That is a photo finish, the master back in third. In summary, I came third. However, I guarantee I had a lot more fun. I also guarantee that Rory probably feels quite sick right now because the G-forces in that, the acceleration, the deceleration, that's too much for a man of his vintage to actually cope with. Me, in Phil, slidey slidey, having fun, 
Oh, I love this car so much. And that, boy and girl, is how you win a race in a Lamborghini Ultimate Convertible. Okay. Facts are facts. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ultimate convertible, no. What do you mean? I just I literally started from the back and smashed you both. What you've proven is that you have the fastest, well, actually not the fastest, you have the quickest convertible, but the ultimate convertible, fastest I think convertible. you'll all agree, is Phil. And with that, thank you very much. Hold on no. a second. <laughs> no. No, no. What did Phil win? Life. <laughs> Life spinning Just. and nearly crashing. Yeah, exactly. I did that a lot. <laughs> However, okay, maybe ultimate because it's the best at doing everything. You see? In a boring way. No, I will, I will no. give you that. I will give you that. What a machine. It's ridiculously quick. It's got, I reckon it's gone zero to hero. I'll give you that. It is staggeringly quick. And like you said, it won top trumps. So if we're looking at it objectively, that car ticks so many boxes, it could be, it could be in some universe considered the, the ultimate, ultimate convertible. But in today's universe, the one in which I live, <laughs> it's the hurricane. Right. Also not in my universe, both of you are talking absolute nonsense. Okay, you've got like all four layers of roof. It did surprise me, it's a lot quicker than I gave it credit for. Mm. But what do you want a car to be? A convertible, like this goes down in three seconds. You want it to be fun. Hold on one second. In what world does a car that loses a drag race despite having a 200 yard <laughs> head start end up as the ultimate convertible. Because power and speed is not everything. What I like is to have a bit of a loose bottom, have a little bit of a play. You know me, Rory, You've we've been out. And a loose I don't want to know about your loose bottom. <laughs> but can we all agree? No. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we can. I think that's the conclusion. <laughs> and on that note, I will say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, you can get pretty much all three cars on Auto Trader right now. Subscribe to Alex's channel. Oh, that's nice of you. Will you join us again? Uh, yes. Right. Only if I win something, though. Okay, we'll never see him again, unfortunately. Um, okay. But thank you so much for watching. <laughs> see you again soon. I'm going to do another lap. I'll beat you. In the ultimate convertible. The track's actually closed. You're not allowed. <laughs> that's a lie. Race your home. All right, let's go. No, I'm on a trailer. I can't do that either. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>